today we are in Pace, Florida, one of the fastest growing cities in the Northwest Panhandle, and you're just 35 minutes from the pristine beaches of the Emerald Coast. You're also just north of Pensacola, a larger city with a charming downtown, extra shopping, places to eat, and all kinds of amenities. But Pace has become very desirable. A lot of people are moving here, and it's just exploded in the last few years. In this video, we're gonna give a complete overview of everything there is to offer. Maybe you're considering moving here. Let's go ahead and get into it right now. Of the main reasons why people are deciding to move to Pace over some of the surrounding areas is because it's growing like crazy and the housing is somewhat more affordable. You have new subdivisions, but you also have well-established communities as well. There's just a growing sense of community here in general, and you also have more desirable school zones. A lot of people choose to raise their families here because the schools are potentially better than some of the surrounding areas just have so much to offer here in Pace. Those are a few reasons. We have seen just a tremendous amount of growth in the last 10 years with the population increasing over 20%. And so there's no shortage of new developments, new construction and subdivisions popping up left and right. But you also have a lot of established areas, a lot of communities and neighborhoods that have been around for a long time and they're very sought after. But I can tell you this, there's no signs of Pace slowing down anytime soon. So you're gonna have access to all the shopping and typical businesses that you might find in any other city. You've got Publix, Walmart, Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, TJ Maxx, PetSmart, just to name a few. And you also have, you know, fast food places. You've got Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Whataburger, McDonald's, Taco Bell, all of those things are here. But you also have local stores, local mom and pop businesses that you can support and enjoy that are unique. Um, and some hole in the walls as well. There's plenty of restaurants and places to eat, and you won't find a shortage of things here in Pace, but you also have access to Milton and Pensacola, which are both only about 20 minutes away. So two places that you have to try as far as food goes is Bar 515. They've got great cocktails, delicious cuisine, and just kind of Southern food. And you also have to try out the Los Panchos food truck authentic tacos and tamales. It is absolutely delicious. Kind of a hole in the wall, but man, you will not be disappointed. So check out both of those restaurants for sure if you're in Pace. So as far as festivities and things to enjoy or be feel like a part of the community, there's a few things to do. And one of the coolest ones is the farmer's market that goes on pretty much every Saturday from about nine to 1 p.m. at the Woodbine Baptist Church and you're gonna find local vendors and small businesses. There's typically baked goods, plants for sale, arts and crafts, uh, sometimes live music, there's food trucks, and it just feels like a good time. You get to meet your neighbors, get out, support local small businesses, and feel involved. And again, that's every Saturday. But you also have a couple other things. There's the annual fall festival, you've got the Pace Christmas Parade, and so there is a big sense of community here and there's new things always popping up and kind of fo follow the local events and there won't be a shortage of activities going on in Pace at any given time. One of the best playgrounds in Pace is the recreational area or sportsplex. And this place is giant and it has so much to offer. There's baseball fields, there's pickleball and tennis, there's playgrounds for your kids, there's walking trails, restrooms on site, and there's a lot going on here. There's typically always live games, um, concessions. And so if you just wanna get outside and get some fresh air or take your kids to wear them out, you should definitely check out the Sportsplex. One of the other outdoor activities that you should check out and is kind of known here and renowned is the Blackwater River State Park. You've got tubing, kayaking, canoeing, paddle boarding. You can go fishing or swimming. And it feels like true Florida right? It's just in the forest, in the woods. It's just nature at its finest, and it's definitely somewhere that you can enjoy from time to time for free. So if you're a golf enthusiast, or maybe you're just thinking that maybe you should get into it or check it out, 
Either way, you should check out the Stonebrook Golf Course. It's an 18-hole amazing golf course here in Pace. It's actually located inside a neighborhood, but the golf course itself is public, and it's great for novices or pros alike. Either way, you can enjoy it, spend a day out there. They also have a restaurant on site, and it is a beautiful golf course that you can enjoy if you're a resident of Pace. I mentioned this previously, but one of the nice things about Pace is the proximity to the surrounding cities and the beach. You can go over to Pensacola for the day and enjoy kind of a little bit of a bigger city. They have an awesome downtown, tons of restaurants. They've always got festivals and events and parades going on that you can enjoy, and it's only 20 minutes away, maybe 30 if traffic's really bad. And you also have access to Milton, which is another town really close by, more outdoor activities, other places to eat, and that's maybe 15 minutes away, give or take. But of course, one of the best reasons is the beach. The Gulf Coast, the Emerald Coast, is about 35 minutes away, and you are at Pensacola Beach. You can also go over to Navarre, you can go to Perdido Key. You have access to the coastline here, being in Northwest Florida. You're also not that far from Georgia and Alabama. So the location here is not bad. You've got quite a few options in just a short day trip. As far as housing goes, you're gonna have a ton of options. You've got really affordable homes. You can be even starting in maybe the 150 range. And then you even have estate homes that can go for over a million dollars. But there's tons here. You've got new subdivisions, new construction, again, popping up everywhere. And you also have established areas, neighborhoods that have been around for a long time, have a sense of pride and people love to live there. Maybe even don't sell them very often. And you also have country living. So if you wanna live in the heart of the pace, the city, or you wanna live on the outskirts, you're gonna have a lot of options, a lot of price ranges, so you won't have a shortage there if you're interested in moving here. If you are considering moving to Pace, I hope you found this video helpful. We cover content every week covering the Emerald Coast, the Northwest Florida Panhandle, and all the surrounding areas, eat, sleep, play, and real estate. So if you're thinking about moving here, relocating, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and stay tuned. My name's Levi Fortner, I'm with LPT Realty and I run the Fortner Group. We help people relocate all the time. We answer questions. If I can be of any assistance or just answer a couple questions, give me a call, text, or an email, and my team and myself will give you our undivided attention. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.